Thank you very much for joining us on today's episode of Profiling. And today we are bringing to you a company that has made generations count. We are talking about none other than what has now become the parent company, Meta. Now, this company began as the Facebook and has transitioned over the years into what we know it to be today. But even before it became the Facebook, it was something else. It was called FaceMash on Harvard University campus. But this is a story of resilience, tenacity, strength, character, and skill. It's a story of four gentlemen leading up onto what it has become today. First of all, this was started by who we all know to be the current CEO of Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, together with some friends of his from Harvard University, Dustin Maskovitz, Eduardo Saverin, and Chris Hughes. So they set up this company to be a connective hub, a place where people could actually interact, get to know each other, create business opportunities and the like. Now, it's no wonder that these Harvard dropouts, well, not Harvard dropouts, basically was Mark Zuckerberg who actually dropped out of Harvard. And he's probably one of Harvard's most successful dropouts. Now, people usually make the argument that school is not necessarily the road to success. Well, that may be true, but you cannot necessarily use Mark Zuckerberg's case as a case study because Mark Zuckerberg qualified to Harvard, one of the best universities in the world, which meant that he was very skilled, very intelligent. So that argument does not really hold water. Then again, getting onto Harvard campus, there was this controversy of Mark actually stealing the idea for face mask from the Winkle bosses. So these brothers actually approached um, Mark with an idea to start a certain website and then Mark actually eluded them many times and created face mask. So there was a there's there was a class action suit against Mark at a point in time. Mark had to pay some settlement and all that. But hey, that's all in the past. At the moment, Mark has been able to transition that university website into a global conglomerate. It's become a big thing. Now, Meta has branches all across the globe and has over 3 billion users worldwide. Now, as of 2012, Meta actually, or Facebook actually, signed for... Um, went in for an IPO, so went public. And in that period, they had about $19 billion to their name in 2012. Now, Meta today is worth so many billions, and it's actually the world's most profitable internet company, Google, if you may. So Meta has grown deep and grown over the years through a lot of transitioning periods. Now, it has its main headquarters in Menlo Park, Silicon Valley and it turns out a lot of interesting products every day, day in, day out. So that's the story of Facebook transitioning to Meta and what it is at the moment. But well, they're actually moving on to the virtual reality space at the moment. So Meta is actually doing a lot of AI and virtual reality stuff nowadays. They are getting into um, immersive environments, getting into artificial spaces, being able to explore the artificial world as though it was actually real. So Meta has transitioned through a lot of things and is doing amazing for a company that was started by a Harvard dropout. So tell us what you think in the comment section. Is Facebook or Meta worth all the hype that it's gotten today? Thank you for staying with us. Coming to you next time with another amazing profile.